So in this video we are going to take a closer look at code commenting because code commenting is actually a very important thing uh, when you're programming because code comments can help you remember the code that you've written or remember how it works. Let's say that you work on a kind of a big project and you, you leave some part of the code for a few days because you need to work on another part and then when you come back to the old part you have a hard time remembering why you did something. And for that you can actually make something called code commenting so that you can read the comments and understand what you did and why you did it. So it's easier, easier for you or other programmers to come back to your code. <clears throat> so I've created a new project 1.5, uh, 1.6 here. And I'm just going to take the code from 1.5 and copy it and paste it into 1.6. So if you just have your own project and you don't, you're not creating these extra ones, then you can simply just um, keep the code for uh, from the last video. So code commenting are created by two forward da dashes, like so. As you can see, when I make these, it turns uh, green, and then I can write something. Let's say this is a this is a welcome message, right? So when you make a comment with these two dashes here, well, then the compiler ignores this line. <clears throat> and that means that I can run the program here. I'll put a six. <clears throat> Sorry, uh, I can run this program without any problems. The dashes that just made didn't change anything in our program flow, and everything works as it did before, as you can see. If I would write, this is a welcome message, or you can see the compiler tries to help me. Then you can see that this is not going to work because I just want to write some text for me to remember, and to do so, I will have to make these two dashes in front of it. So that's how we can comment code, right? This is the welcome message. Then I can go down here and say, well, this line waits for user input and pauses program. And then I can write here, this line clears the console and so on. These are fairly straightforward right read line and clear but maybe you have some code uh, later along the road that will be harder to understand just by looking at it and as i said if you're working on a team it's always very nice to comment the code so that you understand or some so that other people understand what you did um and again we can take this comment and paste it down here and so on so this is one thing that these comments can do for you so all the comments that I've made so far is inside this main method. And when I comment something inside a method, I usually just do it with two dashes here. But if I want to comment something outside a method, let's say that we have some code out here. Uh, it will make sense later when we may learn about field variables and stuff. But if we have some other functions, we would like to use some summaries. And um, Visual Studio can actually help you with that. So if you place your cursor like this, on something outside a method like a definition of a method or something else uh, then you can make three dashes like so one two three and then it's going to make a summary this is the main method the program starts here and then there is a parameter here and that this one this line of code is referring to this right so we don't write, really need to write something right now here but if you had something, you could also write some something here about the parameters. <clears throat> so this is how you can make summaries. The same goes for the class. Let's say you have created your own class. Well, if you make three dashes out here, then it's also going to make a summary. Then you can write, this is the program class. I can't spell apparently. This is a default class, right? So this is how you can make the summaries. You can see if I go in here and I try to make three dashes, it's not going to make a summary for me because summaries are only made or Visual Studio only wants to make the summaries for you when you try to comment something outside a function or a method. So code comments can also be used for other things than just making notes for yourself. It can also be used to comment out some code. And when you comment out some code, it will not be executed 
when you run the program. So let's say we are testing our program and some of the functionality we have written um, is not valid for this test or whatever we're doing. So we'd like to comment it out without deleting it. For example, if we, are, we have this main, <coughs> uh, main function here, you can see that we are trying to clear the console, but maybe we want to test it without clearing the console. We could delete this and then run the program and see that it doesn't clear and then paste it back in when we're done. But we can also comment out the console.clear just to remove it. So if I comment it out by making these two dashes in front of it, you'll see that it turns green and it's now a comment, which means that when I play the, uh, the program, you'll see that the clear function doesn't work. And I can go back here and comment it back in and then it works again, as you can see. So this is way easier than just deleting some code and remembering that we actually have this uh, code here, so we need to write it back in. For example, this line here, right? If I don't want that, it's way easier for me just to comment it out and then testing my, my program here, then deleting all this and having to write it back in when I'm done testing. We can also comment out more lines at a time. So let's say that, for example, we will only want uh, this part of the program to happen. Well, we could go here and make two dashes here, two dashes here, and two dashes here, right? But to make it easier for us, Visual Studio has added a menu up here called Comment Out Selected Lines. You can press Control E dot C, uh, comma C, or you can just select everything you want to comment it out like this, and then click up here. Now all this code down here is commented out, and I can play my program and run the incommented lines of code here. Again, we would like to <coughs> comment in this because now we're done testing this and we want this to be a part of the program again. So I can select this and click on the button to the right of the comment out. There's one called uncomment. So if I click this, it will comment in the code. And when I run the program, then the code down here works again. This was a simple introduction to code commenting. We learned about how we can create a summary in something outside a method, and we learned about how we can create line comments inside methods. You will get more familiar with the line comments or the general commenting in Visual Studio as we move along with this course. So this is not the last time that you will see me creating some comments, and you will also learn a little bit more about commenting when we get further in this course. Thanks for watching my video. Please remember that InScope Studios is a community founded page, so please consider clicking the support link on the screen to see how you can support me and get something back in return.